what's popping <laughs> what's popping everybody it's spicy topics and i wanted to come to you with a video about cardi b something that happened as i was watching the armand's wigan show but thanks for watching spicy topics where i speak heated definitely hot um pretty much every topic that i can think of no limit to what i might say okay so I, as i was watching the armand's wigan show i noticed that on Wigan show viewers seem to already jump to the conclusion that Ra Ali would have anything to do with this Eliza Rain, who is Future's baby mom, jumping in Offset's DM. Cardi B, which I have the video, is going to basically expose this whoever, this mystery female, but the Armand's Wigan show had already jumped to conclusions. Ra Ali in the red hair here, as beautiful as ever. You know her from previously being on Love & Hip Hop, but she's made an empire for herself and she's gained her show on site. She also has a blog and YouTube channel. Make sure you go check it out. History to remind you of what happened back when Cardi B got that knot on her head. It was due to her trying to fight Nicki Minaj and being loud and rowdy and rude. So Star Brim here is Cardi's friend. Car Star was locked up at the time. When Star got out, she started going on these radio campaigns talking about how she wanted to get Ra Ali keeping the beef up. Ra Ali had a guest on her show that was cool with Star Brim and she didn't like it. So she was saying some things on Instagram, being disrespectful, being offended, this and that. Cardi B responded on the left. Ra responded to Cardi B, calling her mentally incapacitated to understand. It was a good read and drag for the people. But let me get right into where Armand and his viewers were jumping to conclusion is, in my opinion, being very gullible. Check this out. My my husband he po he posted um he posted a video you know Insta story right yeah yeah to, probably about two weeks ago so my husband posted a a video right and some girl hit him up on the DM like being flirtatious and my man he shows it to me and he's like babe who is this and I'm like oh this is such and such uh. uh this is such and such baby baby mom, right? And I was like, she's messy. And he's like, oh, okay, because this nigga really don't be on the, he don't really be, you know, he don't really be in the, he don't really be on the, on internet. He, he don't really be on the internet like that. My baby's kind of lost sometimes. He kind of lost sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's this and that baby mom. And it's like, and it's like, oh, I will whoop her ass and all that shit. So, you know, I'm talking my shit. But it's like, you know, she's trying to be flirtatious on the on the DM. And then today, I see that such and such, the girl that was on the DM, she is chilling with somebody that I don't fuck with, somebody that I don't like, somebody that is also messy. And then I'm like, yo, babe, look at that. The girl that was on your DM is hanging around with the uppity up up and then we just out here dying laughing because it's just like yo bitches are so miserable like bitches they don't only hate on your success right they don't only hate on your success they don't only hate that like like your career you have an amazing career they really hate on your life they hate on your marriage they don't want they don't want to see you happy at all they don't, they don't even give a fuck about they don't really give a fuck about trying to destroy your career they really want to destroy your marriage why i said that he's gullible and his people he she, cardi is not giving a name for one and she could very well be talking about riley and eliza rain but here's my thing you don't know that for a fact and why do you jump to conclusions? You know that she was on the show. You know they was just beefing on Instagram. Where Ra'ali, we was clearly seeing she was trying to avoid all of that. She was just doing her job, doing her thing. It's very likely that Eliza could have took that to the next level. You know them girlfriends you got? Some of them, they wild. And they don't mind having a little drama. They like, who is she? Let me let me get at her. Let me You tell her what happened and she's ready to go at the female. She's ready to get at her. Cardi in this video goes to talk about karma. Well, I don't know how many husbands you've done seduced. I don't know in your line of work, your previous business and what you used to do, where, where you used to do, did it consist of you dealing with people's man and husband? You talk about karma, but this could be your karma or it could not be. Who knows? Another thing I, I find just crazy is that the people they automatically assume that pe people are fans of Nicki Minaj or they call us barbs because I'm a fan I'm not I'm not a crazed person there are reasons that I have 
dislike for her okay there's reasons i stopped liking cardi b as an artist and as a as a woman because she has disrespected herself in the public and i just don't roll that way it has nothing to do with the fact that i'm a fan of Nicki minaj i would love to be a fan of both of them i never thought cardi was ugly i never her her physical beauty you know, I thought I always thought she was the pretty girl. I always when I when she was on Love and Hip Hop, I was never against her story as the Armand's Wig and Show viewers thought. It was never me personally, I never was against her her whole show or her, her start of fame, her claim to fame. I never was against that. I was always rooting for Cardi B. I wanted her to win. I cried when she performed on stage. So I know nobody's gonna put that on me. The reasons that I dislike her is because the way she has acted towards Nikki and gone out in the public and was rude and crazy and disgusting. It was these things that she said in the media and in the public. Pretty much that's why. It has nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. The fact that she's upset that it's perhaps Eliza being petty or, or Ra Ali, the fact that they are claiming Ra Ali, that it's like the, the Armand's Wing Show viewers already jumped to conclusions to Ra Ali being petty. And you don't know that to be a fact. And I'm, it's crazy to me because y'all watched the whole thing unfold and you saw that Ra Ali was absolutely being a bigger person. She was not responding. People have attacked her. Tasha K tried to come at her and, and, and get a story out of her. She has not responded. How do you take that and you automatically accuse her of being the one to put Eliza up to it? It could have very well been Eliza wanting to do what she wanted to do. And Cardi never said it was Ra Ali. She never even hinted to that. The viewers, though, they want it to be Ra Ali so bad that that's what they made it out. Like I said, this is an example of why I dislike Cardi B. I don't respect this from no woman. I don't even like it from a man. I don't think... Doing this out in the public or anywhere bragging about it outside of the comfort of your home, that's not respectful. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. And it makes me not like you, period, for you to do this and think it's cute and funny. It just makes me look at you like you stink and that you don't care about yourself. This is why. This is Ra Ali in Florida, knowing she shouldn't have been. She was actually live, her and Eliza. She knows I say that because it's coronavirus season and but she's aware she's in Florida. She's talking on this video about sanitization, how she sanitized before she touched and after she got on the boat. They were out having a good time. I believe it's Miami on a boat, just having a good time on a yacht, you know, and all those conclusions are drawn. Of course, Cardi B takes this to the media, which in a way I don't blame her because of her recent their recent discretions indiscretions or whatever you want to call them their relationship where he cheated on her but i mean the woman is out here talking about how she got the best head game and how she wants to like just doing things that men generally don't like and here is eliza this is future's baby mom they are currently in litigation he's having a hard time even claiming the beautiful little baby it's just it's just awful it's terrible you know what i mean the, the fact that they have to even go through that but it's not far fetched because i know females do stuff like that they do go up oh, who is she girl let me know who she what she do you tell your girlfriend what happened and she's like i'm watch what i try to do but that does not say that ra ali put this girl up to doing that she's her own woman she's grown and if she's messy she's messy all by herself Ra Ali's, her proof, the proof is in the pudding, okay? You know someone's future by their past. You know what they're going to do by what they've done, okay? Her behavior pattern is not being dumb and petty. Ra Ali is not out here being that way. You saw the whole thing unfold with Star Brim. You saw Star Brim getting upset. She was mad because Ra Ali interviewed somebody that she knew. The guy, when he, she did the interview, they never brought Star Brim up at all. Not at all. He brought her up. He asked something. He what he say? Um, now I may get. The, he said, um, how do you do? You like Star Brim? So do you like something like along that line? You can go to YouTube. You can go watch on site. And um, yeah. So he brought that mess up. Star, the, uh, Riley was shocked with the question. That's when Star Brim got upset with Riley. She didn't get upset with 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 the guy at least. What she displayed, what she displayed on the Internet for the world to see is her anger towards Ra Ali. She started accusing Ra of being petty. Well, how? He brought you up. 
And she has an on-site show where she's interviewing artists, whether you like it or not. So, no, I don't appreciate the fact that those viewers already jumped the gun and created a story in their heads, putting all these two and two together and this and that. Not saying it could or could not be. It could be. But, yeah. And stop blaming Barb saying we don't we, we coming at you because of Nikki, this and that. We didn't like how you did, Nikki. No, we didn't. You were very immature. You was out here loud and rude, talking about passing gas, taking dumps on live. There was a lot of things you did. You went to Ghana and you was cussing the people. And it was just this reason. We don't do stuff like that. We don't do stuff like that. So when you do things like that, you lose respect. OK, look where you are now versus where you were. I appreciate the fact that Cardi B has been kind of quiet because it get I see I've forgiven her so many times and then I was embarrassed by forgiving her. So this is why I have to see longevity of change. I can't just base it on her being quiet right now. Girl, you don't need me anyway. So do you. But I'm just letting y'all know it's not all it's not like Barb's or fans of Nikki is just coming at her for no reason. She came at Nikki. OK, and we just love the person that we love and what's right is right and wrong is wrong, period. Then that, thank you so much for tuning into Spicy Topics. Make sure you leave your comments below, good or bad, ugly or beautiful, whatever you want to say, go ahead and say it because I know she has a lot of fans. It's cool. I already said what I had to say and you understand what where I stand. You understand where I stand by what I said. So don't make nothing out of out of nothing. OK, or don't make something out of nothing. OK. Get me correct. You heard what you heard. It's nothing added to it, period. I still think Cardi is physically a beautiful person. She's capable of, of being a beautiful inside person. But all that rah-rah stuff, I don't like it. And I don't care what you think. That's all I got for you. Peace.